Hey folks, um, today I'm going to give you a little bit of a book review on Fletcher Flora's Killing Cousins. Um, I think if you like cozy um, mysteries or cozy crime, you'll dig this book. Um, it's very strange. It's basically about this husband and wife who live in this very hoity-toity area with country clubs and stuff. And every night they go out drinking and with everyone in the neighborhood and they go swimming in the pool and they have parties for every reason and under the sun. And every night the wife goes and sleeps around with somebody else and it's not graphic it's like a fade to black kind of thing when something like that's going to happen and um at one of these parties she ends up hooking up with her husband's cousin which is kind of like her cousin too i guess and um that's just a bridge too far for the husband. So he goes home to pack and she finds him packing and she's like, what are you doing? And he's like, I'm out later. See ya. Bye. And all this. And she's like, you can't leave me. Blah, blah, blah. Um, this, that, and the other. And then she shoots him. Um, and he's dead and like anyone would do when they shoot their husband she goes into the bedroom and goes to sleep and then wakes up the next morning and checks to make sure there's really a body there and there is so she doesn't know what to do and she's not really freaking out about it but she calls the cousin Oh, the heater turned off. It's so quiet in here now. Um, and she calls the cousin, for, and the cousin's going to help her take care of it because he's really smart. And so while they're trying to figure out what to do, um, the mother-in-law calls to talk to her son, and she doesn't know what to say, so she makes up some story. The mother-in-law already hates her, so she's just looking for an excuse to hate her more. And the reason why this book is so strange is that the wife and the cousin are so matter-of-fact about everything. Just like, huh, all right, well, you know, what what do we do now? You're very smart. Thank you for the... Oh, well, thank you, cousin. No, thank you, cousin. They're just very aloof about everything. Um, but then, like, as their plan starts to come together, they start realizing that there were a lot of plans set in motion by the husband that sometimes help their plans and sometimes hinder their plans. So it's very, um, I don't want to say cat and mouse cause that's not what it's like, but like once you feel like you're going a certain way, like someone comes in with some information that changes it and, um, never once that was so cute that you tried to be quiet. <laughs> Never once do they um, act like it ruffles their feathers for more than a half a second um, until the end of the book. Um, so it is um, high recommend if you like that kind of stuff. Um, I was expecting it to be a little more gritty a little more earthy. Um, but I was pleasantly surprised and I read it in an afternoon. 
Um, it's not a long read, but it, um, and it kept me going. So it kept me turning pages. So if any of this stuff sounds like stuff you like, give this, um, book a go. And, um, if you've read it before, let me know down below what you think. And if you watch this and then go pick it up, come on back and tell me what you thought of it. So this is, um, Fletcher Flora, um, kiss, no, killing cousins not kissing cousins and they do more than kiss but it fades to black so it's not raunchy so have a good weekend everybody